So today we're going to be taming up an absolute beast of a creature that comes to us from the Ark Editions mod. This is, of course, a Bracky. But it's not just any Bracky. This is the Wooly Bracky, which is just the most ridiculous looking thing ever. Let me just cam up so you can see this giant neck beard. And when I say neck beard, it literally spans the whole neck and goes down and becomes chest hair. This thing is so majestic. We need to craft some fedoras afterwards. Its eyes are really strange looking. And uh, we need to maybe maybe do some mutations with these things as well. I don't know. Like, I just love the look of this thing. Now, I do want to say earlier on the series, probably close to like episode 100, which is probably about a year ago now at this stage, I did tame up this bracky right here, which is a volcanic bracky, um, which I really like. I really like the look of the volcanic ones. These ones are on uh, the, what do you call it? The Genesis DLC and they're X brackies. I'm accidentally typing in random letters there. They're X brackies. Um, this is really cool, but the neck beard is just too powerful and I can't resist. Uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and get one of these dudes. And uh, I have went ahead and found a 180. This is a male. Um, these things have a very unique taming method. So if you guys are unfamiliar with this, you're gonna be in for a wild ride. And if you guys are familiar with this, well, just pray that I don't mess up somehow. Uh, well, not somehow. I mean, everybody knows how you can mess up with this dude. So what we're what we're looking for is we want him to stand on his hind legs. And when he does that, we start shooting at his ankles because his ankles are that sweet, juicy, tender spot that he does not like to get shot in. Uh, are you going to start coming after me, bro? There we go. Perfect. So, yeah, when we do that, it, we basically will be inflicting some torpor. And everybody knows when you inflict enough torpor, the creature falls and you can tame them up. Um, this is a weird, like, this this kind of terrain right here is not great to really tame them in. Uh, but we're going to try our best. Uh, I'm trying to trigger him to get him to stand on his hind legs. I can't remember exactly how you do that. I feel like you just kind of piss him off just a little bit. Let's see. Let me just tech my way around. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so at this point... We don't want to get too close to him, but we also don't want to get too far. I'm doing less damage than this rifle would normally do, which is exactly what we're looking for. Those types of numbers right there, that means I'm doing it right. Let's see. Let me just run ahead here a little bit. If I get too close, he's going to stomp my face out of existence, and it's not going to be fun. Okay, he's. I think he's ending it. There we go. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, I actually need to pop that. I need to... Uh, where's my magnifying glass? Uh, there it is. <gasps> Fly, run! Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. Uh, I took a focal chili just so I can uh, run a little bit faster and, and get around. Oh, he's already... He's just... Look at him. He's ready to perform. This is amazing. So, uh... Okay. I want to make sure I actually hit his ankles. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. He's he's ending that, uh, that little run right there. So, guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Uh, we're really, um, we're looking for some really cool mutations on these dudes here today. So, um, yeah, I don't know. We maybe we'll do some crazy stat mutations at some point. I don't know if we're going to do that for this video. We'll see. Uh, I did bring this terrible pistol just to kind of trigger him a little. Because the real worry is that you're going to deal too much damage to him. And, um, he's going to die before you knock him out. So, let's see. Let me just keep him aggroed here. Okay. Just running around a little bit. Come on, bro. Do the standy thingy. All right, we got to piss him off a little bit more. Come on. Here we go. All right, sweet. So uh, this thing is uh, also a really cool creature to use, just in general, because uh, that roar that he did a couple minutes ago, that can fear roar a giga. So yeah, it's a really intense creature to have. I'm really excited to uh, to maybe at some point get some crazy colors and, and do some stats and stuff because they do great damage no matter what. Like, you can get a normal one unimprinted and it's already going to do, like, 20,000 damage or something. It's kind of insane. Honestly, uh, this type of thing really should not exist in vanilla in this current state. But it's a really cool mod. Uh, Arc Editions, check it out if you want to. Um, I am not sponsored. I just absolutely love the mod and I support everything that Garuga does because there's so many creatures coming out of that mod all the time and they're just amazing. Uh, here we go. He's back down. Okay, we got to try and actually speed things up here a little bit. So let me see. I guarantee he's probably dropped in a good amount of torpor. Just keep him pissed off on me. Just want to get this whole process. My mouse is wigging out a little bit. There we go. Just need to move my thing. Uh, here we go. Let me just pop a couple of shots in here. So the real worry is that he'll, um, you know, he'll start the knockout and, uh, you know, I would have shot him and basically ruined the tame. There we go. Another roar. Okay. Is he, I don't know if he's still pissed off at me. Let's just hit him there real quick. Keep him 
active. Uh, here we go. Look at that freaking tail, man. So I, I gotta say, like, did I don't think reptiles could ever actually have fur, right? That that's not a thing, or is it a thing? I have no idea. I I always thought they would have just had like feathers. Let's see. I don't know how close he would be. He probably is not that close. We got him up to like 5k with I think two mags maybe, or maybe it was just one. I think my, it might have just been about one. Let's see. So we can actually just keep him going here. Like if I just keep a good distance away from him, just not too far. He will basically just stay in that stance. Let's try and uh, just check his torpor. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What does that say? 20,000? Okay. We're getting kind of close here. So you want to take it a little bit slow when you get towards the end because his knockout animation happens very, very fast. If he does anything different, I'm going to stop shooting. I feel like a couple more shots would be fine. I feel like then this next mag, if he stays up like this, this is going to knock him out. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm actually hitting that right spot. Oh, he's gonna drop back down. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just check your torpor there, bud. Oh, okay, yeah, perfect. Okay, so I would say maybe six shots, and then he's gonna he's gonna knock. Let's see. Let's just reload this bad boy. Okay, he's uh he's no longer aggroed. I just want to keep this whole process like in this one little clip here, so just in case anybody's ever curious about how to tame these dudes, because they are very intense. Uh, but just get your best sniper, and that's basically what you want to do. Uh, machine gun, also pretty good for the very start, but you want to use a sniper towards the very end because, uh, well, you, you don't want to mess up. You, you really don't. Uh, here we go. Let me just go ahead and eat some foods. Okay, buddy, come on. He's definitely dropped enough. I feel like it's going to be a mag and another bullet after that. The ground here is super messed up looking. Oh, we're also on rag r right now, by the way. They are on pretty much any map with snow, which is great. So they're a little bit easier to tame. Uh, lots and lots of high levels than uh, going for like the X versions, which are of course only on Genesis. Okay, here we go. I'm watching you, bro. He's gonna knock out with this next one. There we go. Perfect. Watch this. Oh my God. Boom. <laughs> that is such a cool animation. He even broke the th the freaking trees. Look at that. He broke the two of them. Uh, let's see. Taming. There we go. We didn't mess up. Amazing. Okay, cool. So I'm going to give him some kibble and he's going to be ready a little bit later. Uh, I was, I had a feeling that they would need some uh, narcotics. So I did bring a bunch. Let me just pump a bunch in there. I can't remember how much kibble he's going to need, but we'll figure it out as we go along. I'll bring you guys back with this thing is fully tamed up and, uh, then we can check it out. All right. So I found a 168 down here, which I might as well tame because that one up there is taking absolutely ages. By the way, don't worry. I did pump in a crap ton of narcotic. It is not going to wake up anytime soon. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, yeah. So I might actually go ahead and just knock out this one as well. I don't know if this area is like super safe. I'll have to quickly just take a little scan around the place. Let's do that right now, actually. Uh, oh, they changed it. Now you have to hold down R, right? Oh my God. I hate that. I really do. Wait, what? What the hell? I have element. Oh, there we go. Okay. Do we have anything bad down here? I can't really see anything. I'm just worried about, like, Uteranuses, because I know that they will attack these dudes. I actually found my, uh, my Bracky, and it was being attacked by Uteranus and a bunch of Carnos as well. I think the corpses, you may have seen those. Anyway, I might try and just knock out this dude as well. Um, I do know I'll probably need some more narcotic, which I can easily just grab from some bushes around or whatever. So, yeah. Um, this is okay. Yeah, I might just try and lead it up the hill a little bit see uh okay yeah we gotta piss him off first you would just so happen to land directly on top of some dire wolves wouldn't you seriously where the hell did those things even come from did they drop down because they would not have been there i have no idea where they came from why are they all alpha anyway um yeah it's knocked out i don't know what to do about these guys like they're not gonna attack him but i, I gotta i gotta make sure that i move them away and kill them as well <laughs> just that was super close. I, I'm very lucky that I didn't go down and, like, observe the Bracky because they totally would have tried to bite me and, and hit that. So that would have been bad. But, yeah, it's knocked out. That one is super low health, though, right now because uh, I kind of messed up a little bit. I tried to use the tech rifle. Uh, turns out that doesn't really work. So, yeah, I don't recommend it. Interrupting this video for a quick little shout out to one of my partners here on this channel, Apex Gaming PCs. They're an awesome PC company, and we basically put together some ARC capable PCs. If you're looking for a pre built, definitely would recommend them. There's always a discount link down below. All right, so this one is all tamed up, and that took absolutely ages. They really do. They uh, they take a long ass time. Um, I just realized I don't have any extra saddles, so I guess I'll just use. 
the saddle from this one. I'm sorry, you're being replaced in all forms. <laughs> so mean. It really is. Uh, here we go. So I, oh, yeah. Okay, I actually had a feeling that it might need an extra piece of kibble, so I put an extra piece in there, but, but look at that. It's not even greedy. It didn't even eat that piece. So yeah, obviously this is not a huge, like, difference than, you know, it, it's, it doesn't have any extra abilities or anything. It just has a different look, which I honestly think is really cool. I don't know. I really like these, like, different variants of creatures. Uh, I think sometimes, like, with some of the, you know, variants in Vanilla Arc, they're, they're not that good. But, like, this is definitely one that I'm down with. I mean, this looks absolutely amazing. Like, the, the beard is just so cool. Oh, man. All right. Well, anyway, I think my best, my, my, my most favorite part about this, this creature is, of course, where I'm sitting. Look at that. Like, what on earth? <laughs> like, if we get, well, I think, actually, I mean, it's pretty much being confirmed that Brachys are going to be in Arc 2. Those are definitely not Brontos in the background of the very end of the trailer. Those are totally Brachys. So, I, I really hope that this is the type of saddle that we get with Arc 2 for Brachys, because, like, sitting on the head is the most hilarious thing ever. Also, you could just feel so superior to every other creature, because you're the tallest thing around. Like, I, I'm even taller than the Brachy. I'm looking down on him. Anyway, uh, so let me go see if we can find some things to go kill with this dude, because this area here is kind of empty right now. Oh, you know what? As well, I gotta check out your stats there, bud. Uh, d d which one? Oh, this is it. Willy Bracky. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> That's an awful Bracky. That is no good at all. Wow, okay. I mean, it, it's very, very average, but it, it's got high points into movement speed, which, of course, as we know, doesn't really make a difference when it comes to creatures unless you're pumping levels in. Uh, that kind of sucks. It is what it is, though. I'm not too bummed out. Don't worry. Um, I'm probably going to end up taming a lot of these dudes, so at least I'll have a good gauge of what bad stats are in terms of... Um, in terms of the health, at least. I, I probably could have let it also hit something of mine so I could kind of judge damage-wise. That's another good way of figuring that out, um, you know, before you tame something. Um, you don't have to fully knock it out. You could just get it to hit something, and then you'll know if it's stronger than the other one that you saw or whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and break this Baraki's back because, as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty much pretending to be me. I don't know. I think the beard's a little bit different color, but everything else is the exact same. Oh, my God. You are dead, buddy dead dead wow okay <laughs> eight thousand damage straight off the bat and this isn't even a good one i know that my ex bracky can do twenty thousand damage because i was playing around with it a little bit earlier um but yeah these dudes are honestly just the most ridiculous things ever so we definitely will be taming a lot of them I'm trying to do some mutations in this video let me just show off some of their other attacks and everything that mammoth has got really cool colors it's an event color obviously so here we go left click is doing some pretty amazing damage 350 ish let's see let's just go ahead and destroy this dude uh we can use right click as well which i think is the back foot right here we go. Boom. Yeah, look at that. Almost 300 damage with that. Pretty good. And he's actually got some decent attack speed, I would say. Considering his size, you don't really think he'd be able to move that fast. But yeah, no, he's able to do he's able to do the work. <laughs> and then uh, we've got Control, which is the Fear Roar. Let me go ahead and strike fear into the hearts of everything around here. Here we go. Boom. So it's so cool having another creature that has a fear roar and it being a Bracky, I don't know. There's something special about that. There really is. Uh, let's go ahead and just eat some foods. And here we go. The sea attack, which of course puts us on the hind legs. I don't know. Just walking around like this is really cool as well. Um, yeah, it's just very strange luck as well. <laughs> He's so crazy looking. All right, let's, uh, let's get maybe... Maybe we can get in the middle of some creatures here. Let's let's do it right here. Here we go. And boom. There we go. Amazing. Uh, one thing that I do have to say. Uh, wait, why did we do extra damage there? Huh. I actually don't know why I did any extra damage there. Maybe the other creature had some resistance. I can't remember. Hmm. Anyway, well, we basically could do almost 10k damage, so that's pretty cool. Um, I know that the, uh, the x Bracky actually does have a little bit of a difference, to be honest. What the hell? That mammoth's, like, sitting upright. What the? <laughs> okay. Uh, so here, here's one thing that I can do slightly different. Just watch the ground when I, when I stump down. See that? It's a little bit more of an explosion, I think, and we kind of almost have some lava coming up. At least I think it looks different. Let me, let me compare it one more time. 
yeah that's definitely different the other one like kicks up lava so i guess yeah that kind of sucks but i don't know this one looks better but you guys be the judge which one do you think is cooler honestly this one like that one has got a nicer pattern i love the volcanic look to it but the 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 beard the fur all over it's just so cool looking anyway that's enough about all this uh we will of course be taming more and more of these dudes which is going to be very painful because um well uh you you guys could probably tell that took a long ass time uh, and how are you going yeah you're okay probably on torpor for the moment i did pump in a bunch of berries like i think around seven or eight hundred i do notice that these guys are getting very close to the cliff so let me go ahead and take care of them there we go all right so i'll probably just leave this dude here um he's he's good like he's good for the moment I'm gonna look around for some more to tame and i'll probably see you guys in a long while once i've tamed a bunch of them because you don't need to see me tame potentially 10 or 20 i don't know how many it's gonna take uh okay so i tamed like seven of them in total and only actually managed to get one female and it's kind of terrible but i have to use it anyway because i don't have any other females this one right here is the high health and the high weight those stats are good but like the the points into the stats are still not great uh, it's the best i could get i'm just gonna settle for them and then just mutate them up from here so 45 points into the health is pretty good uh this one right here has the stamina with 44 points and then this one down here has 44 points on the melee and then of course this is just a female that's not very good but we're gonna have to use it anyway so yeah yeah we're just gonna have to <laughs> i want to see what it's gonna look like with uh with these dudes in here <laughs> his head's fully sticking out that is hilarious looking all right here we go boom so yeah um i've kind of just settled at this point you know like I, I really could have tried to tame more but they are such a pain to tame they really are and, and honestly like these stats are okay they're not that bad at least i can start from here and then mutate them up and, and get them even better these dudes look so goofy looking <laughs> <laughs> to be honest i should probably go somewhere else and breathe them because like this area here is not super good it's not a massive area you know what actually my base on aberration is probably kind of perfect for these dudes so maybe i'll move over there but i think i'll combine all the stats first all right so i got the baby that i needed which was basically the health and then the weight on a female so i could actually breed with the other ones but i haven't actually seen these dudes as babies in years oh my god they're so goofy looking what is that face oh my god look at how fast it's growing I guess because it, it grows to such a large size, you can physically see it growing. It's only 0.4%. Like, I do have really fast maturation rates on here, but like that, it seems really, really, really fast. What the hell? Wait, how long do you take to grow up? I can check if I have one here. They take... Oh, wow. They only take 55 minutes. I was expecting two hours. This is going to become... You know, that's still a long time. Don't get me wrong, but it, it's definitely not going to be as bad as I thought it potentially could be. So yeah that's crazy man oh my god they look so goofy as babies though <laughs> look at their giant like claws on their on their toes right there that is hilarious looking their tails are so messed up looking oh somebody needs to stretch that out oh man all right well anyway yeah back to it the eyes are still super goofy all right so i'm trying to decide on what color i want for the neck beard and i've got a couple of examples right here so uh yeah we got some purple we got some cyan we've got yellow red orange uh a different kind of form of purple this is more of like a darker color and then we have this nice color down here this is that really nice blue that i always love to use because it just looks so good and i think it actually looks pretty good on this dude obviously if we had some nice colors to match on it on the rest of the body that would probably be pretty cool you see my issue is is like if we take something like purple it's gonna have to look really goofy looking and less cool i don't know something like this definitely wouldn't really work so i'm just gonna rule that one out I wouldn't be opposed to orange but again we'd need to like theme it with the orange as well same maybe not the same with red i feel like we could get away with some crazy colors with red but not make it look too weird uh yellow i just kind of grabbed out because i was like this is, could be a good example um i wouldn't really say i'm a major fan of that that doesn't look great uh and then the cyan i think would potentially look good but i also think this purple down here could look good too so i'm a little bit undecided i'm probably gonna say either between this the cyan or the purple down the end here so it really depends what else i get i'm just gonna try and see what else we can get from the rest of the regions they have four regions that have color visible so um yeah we just kind of have to figure out a good blend and then match whatever neck beard color we want but it's also like a lot of the rest of the body as well so it's almost like a main color when you know it's the neck beard and it's like 
the little bits on the feet here as well as the tail it's it's a lot of this creature so we definitely need to pick a good one i guess so yeah that's my thoughts okay so we're on the other side of all the mutation stacking and let's run through this real quick by the way yeah i did do this over on ab like i tried to do it over here it was so painful i needed a space where like they're not outside but like they're safe and and it's a massive area anyway so these are the wild stats that we got so just pay attention to the health the stamina and the melee and then right here is all of the mutating on top so i i managed to get 20 onto the health and 20 onto the melee and then i just did 10 on stamina i don't really know why i even did stamina i was gonna do weight as well but then i was like oh my god we've already got like 5,000 weight we're not gonna need much more than that and plus it's gonna get imprint buff so uh the health brought it up from 33k to almost 60k and then the stamina went from 2160 to uh what well, went up by exactly 800 actually and then the melee went up by was that around 240 right yeah 240 so pretty amazing actually now here is the imprinted version which of course is 10 percent extra onto uh those stats not stamina and oxygen of course because they never get boosted but um yeah this thing is an absolute beast so we're gonna take him out for a spin i've already i've already done a little bit of stuff with them i i couldn't resist okay there was two brontos i i just you know absolutely stopped them out of existence so the unfortunate thing is we don't have any fedoras that we can get for this dude so we're definitely gonna have to find a good substitute i really feel like some sort of saddle um skin you know like the dinosaur skins like a, a santa hat would be cool if it was christmas but it's not uh i don't know what i want to put on there maybe like a witch's hat could be pretty cool but um the unfortunate part is uh i don't have access to any better saddles i might be able to get some by killing a savage acro but that thing's really difficult to kill and um yeah i don't know i i have gotten quite a few arc edition saddles from killing that thing though and um hopefully we're, we'll have another world boss at some point soon as well oh i completely forgot to even show this off by the way check out the colors um i went with that blue for the neck beard we've got some cyan for like the little striped accents on that which looks really good with the black as like the main color in the back right there I don't know just looking at the back right there it looks super cool looking and then for like the underbelly it's it's kind of like a navy i suppose i think it's uh maybe described as like dark blue here's the exact color code so you're looking at region zero region two three and five so just ignore one and four those ones don't make a difference but um yeah so i i don't know i love this thing i look i think it looks dope it really looks so cool with that neck beard and and all the colors that we got on it um definitely needed that cyan just to bring some brightness in with it but um yeah i really like that black and the navy of course looks great um so here let me just show you how much damage they do uh if i can get to something that won't run away from me come back here you little turds uh i could hit the dodex but they have resistance so here we go let me go ahead and do a little stomp boom look at that just over a thousand damage pretty good pretty good but you need to really check out how much this does <laughs> this isn't even leveled by the way and oh my god this looks so cool all right here we go and goodbye oh wait wait crap you can't even see it it's like 30 i think it's 32,000 is exactly what we're doing but i think we also hit like a dodic or something else there uh we gotta wait another 30 seconds before i do that I, you can't actually do that immediately you see this timer that's that ability so um let's uh let's take a look at how like what we want to pump in this thing i definitely think i want to pump health i want to make this thing pretty tanky how much is that going up by uh it's going up by 1400 i thought that would go up by a lot more all right let's get them to 80k at least uh one more there we go basically 81k Hmm, yeah, I don't really feel like pumping a crap ton more levels. It's gonna take a lot to get that up to 100k. I was really hoping we could just straight up just get to 100k with just a few levels, but they don't really get that much. Surprising. Very, very surprising. Um, I mean melee. Like, there's no... We, we gotta pump melee. <laughs> there's no other thing that we can really pump. Like, I, I could pump weight, but that's so useless. Um, another thing that the Brackies could do, which I actually forgot to show off earlier, was uh, they can basically change what you want to harvest so if you want a certain thing like wood uh you just switch it by hitting r uh if i want thatch mostly i'm gonna hit that we're getting mostly thatch still a little bit of wood and a bunch of fiber we also got berries uh stone metal and back to wood there we go cool so let's uh let's switch that you can't really spam this too fast switch that to metal can we get the metal from these rocks here yeah we can sweet 
okay boom look at that we're getting a little bit not a huge amount we're mostly getting stone and uh and flint as well but um we're getting a little bit of metal obviously if we actually hit like proper metal nodes we'd get more metal than stone i would imagine so yeah uh I, I need to test this out how much damage do we do now we need to find something good to kill maybe that bronto but i feel like that's a little far away even though it's imprinted and we're moving like a little slower we're still slow as crap and i know i could pump levels into speed but that just seems like such a waste i don't know maybe we could make a super fast one i think it'd be kind of terrifying to see a super fast one like on its hind legs like just running at you <laughs> you know what maybe we should do that at some point we should just max level a uh <laughs> into its freaking uh into its speed that could be funny we're doing 50k damage that's uh that's a little bit ridiculous all right so i think i know what i want to do uh first of all i i think we're gonna kill a giga today but i, I do also want to go over to our little friend in the redwoods and um and basically go in there and and kill the brood mommy let's see we don't have any babies in there good sweet i just i hate i think i mentioned this in a recent video as well <laughs> i hate when i leave babies in the bottom and they grow up and it just makes a big mess for me so i always try to whenever i load it in i always try to actually get rid of it so uh here we go let's just fly on over there you know i'm just thinking about it i could nearly just disable egg fall for the moment just turn the males off of breeding so we don't have any extra eggs it is a great farm i love it i love the concept it's so it's so weird like just this massive thing with like what is it like 60 females popping out eggs every few minutes the therizino scoops them all up and everything it's great but uh it's not as efficient as um as my gotcha farm so i don't know we'll see uh i never noticed that this tree is like resting on top of the spider webs i think that kind of speaks to oh great there's two of them <laughs> i think that speaks to how strong these webs are uh okay well there's two of that that means there needs to be two of us and that actually also means we're gonna have mate boost as well so that's pretty funny let's uh quickly oh crap can i there we go i want to quickly just level let's get this up to 80k what the hell's hitting me stop let me alone all right let's uh do this attack i just gotta kick these oh no i didn't mean to do that one oops it's okay get out of that all right we're good uh one more there we go and then the rest into melee here we go and sweet all right uh i guess we'll, we'll just put the other one onto uh neutral eh, there we go and let's get down here and start smashing these little brood mommies into the dirt okay buddy are you is he coming i feel like he'll he'll start coming now in a second uh here we go let's do this attack oh you know what actually wait can i do the roar oh it doesn't allow me in this stance does it okay hang on we'll do that in a second we could do the fear roar and it will stop them from um from coming after me all right there we go so just remember the damage numbers you're seeing right now it, it's not accurate uh the brood mummies have like a weird uh lower armor or something i don't really know how to describe it let's see can i do the here we go does that work on them oh my god it actually does no way oh it doesn't fully fear roar them though or does it i think it might have actually it's kind of hard to tell but that means that we can do more damage so here we go uh let's do the sea attack why is my buddy not getting in here man can you can you get down here i did i not put you on neutral i thought i did that there we go neutral get down here come on what are you doing all right i gotta whistle him in i guess neutral's not good enough he was getting hit earlier so that's why i put him on neutral i would have put him on like attack my target or whatever but eh, it's okay all right well anyway um we are kind of getting blasted a little bit here like these dudes actually do a lot of damage so yeah um my other guy over there oh my god what the hell i've got a bunch of trudons up there i haven't been over here in a while have i <laughs> i still got like a bunch of trudons from when we brought our massive army of them and 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 was just wrecking havoc on, on the ark uh yeah I, I never realized that i somehow managed to leave what looks like maybe 15 of them or something i don't even know all right let's see let's get another one of these going i should have fear reward first fine and look at that giant web on that freaking bracky i know this is such a hard angle to show but like it's really difficult to like show stuff on the bracky without just like looking from above because it's such a large creature i mean i could come down here but you can hardly really even see stuff anyway i don't know uh, when are these dudes gonna die this is taking a lot longer than i thought it would um i don't really see much blood on the brood mommies oops <laughs> this could have been a major mistake all right let's see another fear roar let's get that going there we go they do actually a decent amount of damage to us which is kind of crazy all right come on get in here there we go we're doing 5k damage love it 
Uh, we can do another stompy stomp. Let's do it. Here we go. Try and get a side profile for this. And boom. Oh, that is so cool looking. I love that. It's such a crazy ability. Like a creature this big should be able to do something like that. I'm surprised that the Bronto can't do some crazy massive damage attack or something. In Arc 2, I want to see something like that with massive creatures. They like a creature that big could literally step on you and kill you. So why can't they do something like that? They need to be able to in Arc 2 for sure. Hopefully they can. Anyway, uh, I don't know how much longer this battle is going to last. So I'll just kind of skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> This one has like no blood on it at all. Like the other one is so close to death. I mean, you can see all the green on it. Like what on earth is happening here? What level is this one? I don't think I could even kill this. I'm on like 20K health now. <laughs> oh, there you go. The other one's dead. That was the level 54. Okay, buddy, I'm, I'm gonna need your help here. Oh yeah, the Trudons are getting down here apparently. Cool. <laughs> I didn't even know that was happening. Oh, here we go. Double stop. Boom! Yes, that was awesome. Oh man. All right. Well, the other one's dead, by the way. Um, this one here is being a stubborn little uh, little spider, uh, and now it's running away from me as well. Can you get back over here, bud? Okay. Uh, here we go. I think that they were mate boosted, were they? Maybe they weren't. We're doing more damage now, but we we should have been doing that amount of damage before, I think, because we were close enough, right? I would say so. Uh, okay. Here, let's get a fear ore going. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Now we need to... Oh, he's going to do his stompy. Come on. Here we go. Boom. Oh, he just killed it. Oh, damn. All right. Yeah, those things... I think that they were uh, mate boosted or something. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, well, yeah, look at that. We took like... I don't know. These things are like 70k health coming out. So you took hardly any damage. I took all of it. How the hell did that happen? Great. <laughs> all right. Cool. Oh, wow amazing <laughs> love that all right what do we get for over here uh do we even get anything oh you know what it might have been in this uh this dude's inventory let's see uh oh flippers amazing no i'm just i'm, I'm just kidding we're not gonna keep this stuff all right well anyway there we go uh i don't, I don't know what the hell happened what level were you you of course you were 156 how much health did you have Oh, of course. Okay, cool. All right. Well, anyway, um, I, I think now we need to hunt down a Giga. So let me let me go teleport back to my base. We gotta heal these things, and then we can uh, go hunt down a Giga. Uh, ooh, yeah, it might be a bit too big. All right, let me try this then. There we go. That will heal it a little bit, not enough. Ooh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a date on I guess I could grab out honestly at some point soon I think we're probably gonna do a video where we like get you Tyrannuses mutated and then get some date on mutated that would be cool yeah you know what I think I'm remembering that maybe crispy bacon died in um the overseer fight maybe possibly I can't remember well you know what it's fine I, I could just use this one this one's like not really hurt at all to be honest like this one over here is just like dead <laughs> pretty much so yeah it's fine yeah we definitely need to do a video where we where we get the um <laughs> the daedons and Uteranuses all together a new crispy bacon and a U new lieutenant dan here's one thing that we got to show off though with these dudes uh they can't swim it's impossible they just sink to the bottom and it, it kind of makes for a hilarious thing because they have terrible oxygen and that's purposeful like you see you could just drown these things if you really want to get rid of them but it's just so funny seeing their neck sticking out of the water like this especially when you get in even deeper let's try and go down here just a little bit now I don't want to drown it so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and there we go we're like standing up underwater with my head out of the water this is how you cross the lake maybe <laughs> is it working kind of is I don't want to go in any deeper because I don't know how quick these things actually drown like look at that oxygen stat that's awful you know that that's not gonna work for us so yeah I, I don't want it to drown all right let's uh let's go find a giga we gotta probably head up north for that hmm we got an alpha car now down here let's uh maybe just stomp him out of existence all right oh crap what is that is that a kentro no no, no. okay i thought i saw a kentro there for a second i don't think hitting a kentro would be a good idea because we'll take recoil damage to a crazy extreme if we do that so here we go let's um let's just stomp this little dude wait is there something else back there okay i think it's whatever that is i think it's a paraceratherium maybe thought i saw another glow all right here we go and kaboom wait, did i kill the carno oh i didn't wait where that where is it i can't even see <laughs> just gonna have to keep doing this here we go oh i just killed it now okay wow okay so obviously i hit it 
with the initial attack. Um, also, that wasn't a Parasir Ethereum. Um, that was a Diplo. But yeah, I, I obviously hit it with the initial attack and uh, just finished it off there. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and pick you back up. Thought we might just kill that thing real quick. One thing I'm curious about with the um, with the Brackies, if anybody has tried it, let me know. Do, does it work on the Savage Acro? Because that thing's very immune to a lot of different ridiculous damage thingies. So I'm just curious whether or not I can use the Brackies on him. That could be kind of fun if we got like 12 Brackies or something. I don't know. Just like absolutely just just crushed him <laughs> underneath their might. I don't know. That could be really cool though. Honestly, I'd love to see a Savage um, Bracky as like a boss in the Arc Editions mod. That would be really crazy. There we go. We got a Giga. What level are you though? Uh, oh my, that's a good level. All right, here we go. So we can Fear Order this thing. We might end up losing the Bracky if I'm going to be honest. It is a little hurt, but we should be fine. We'll see. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to pull out the two of them. I'm going to pull out the other one just so we have that mate boost. Where the hell even is this dude? There he is. He's all the way over there now. Um, but yeah, about, about the Savage Acro, like, I'd love to see if that could be possible. So, like, maybe let me know. And then at some point, we could probably farm that dude just a little bit if it is possible. Because uh, I have done a lot of mutating on these dudes. It's not like they're just coming absolutely OP and ridiculous out of the box, you know. Um, I have put a lot of work into these Brackies, and it would be really cool to see if we can actually do that. I would, I would love to use, like, the Gigas and the Shadow Mains, but... Um, Garuga kind of made it so those creatures don't work on the uh, on the dude. You know what? Actually, we could probably do this by just fear roaring. Here we go. Let's let's see. There we go. Oh crap! No, now he's gonna run away. I'm not gonna be able to catch up to him. Ah oh, crap! Yeah, can't do that, can we? He's gonna need to get stuck somewhere. No! Come back! I just want to love you. Get back here, you turd. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> okay. Let me. You know what? He's probably gonna. Oh, ooh. Ah, oh, he's getting away. God damn it. All right, let's just start breaking some stuff to move through this stuff a lot quicker. Okay, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just get onto the hind legs and uh, walk after him. He'll probably turn around and want to fight me in just a second anyway. Uh, can I... Ooh, can I drop down there if I'm on my hind legs? I don't know if I can do that. I'm going to try. <laughs> it's fine if we lose creatures. You know, we can replace them. Oh, does this work? Okay. I was just very curious if we take, like, a lot of fall damage because, like... Creatures like rock elementals take a lot, you know. Uh, need to get through and get closer to the Giga. And this should totally hit, right? Boom! Okay. Oh, I've enraged the Giga. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, no. He's bleeding me out. That is a lot of blood. That is a crazy amount. All right, here we go. Come on, we can do this. I know we can. Oh, he's, he's really hurting me. Okay. Uh, we could do another stompy stomp in just a few seconds here come on come on getting ready for it okay now let's do it let's get up onto the hind legs and unfortunately we can't we can't do the roar when we're like this this might actually kill him yeah it did amazing uh we didn't get the heart though okay that is a lot of blood how much damage do you take damn all right uh hello <laughs> right in my face Sweet. All right, we got the Giga Heart. Amazing. Um, yeah. Like, what else can we realistically do with these guys? You know, like, I could potentially take them over and fight some Titans. That could be kind of fun, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um, like, they, they, they stomp. They do a lot of damage. A ridiculous amount of damage, actually, when it's, you know, super mutated like this. I love their little emote when they get leveled. They just kind of just stand up and then they're like, very good. <laughs> so awesome but uh yeah so that's probably gonna be it for today guys um these these brackies are awesome looking I i'm so happy that we did this and the woolly bracky looks so much better than the volcanic one x1 whatever it's called uh, yeah I, I assume people agree with that right they you guys better agree with that well anyway yeah that is it if you guys have enjoyed this video go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe and anyway i will catch you in the next one and it's probably going to be back over on extinction for some more crazy stuff over there